What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Odin Figuration. Today's Sunday. Um, just trying to relax for the day. Got work tomorrow. Gotta shave my head, take care of a few things, and get ready for work. If you're curious why all these things are in the background, I actually live at work. We have a, a house on the property here uh, that my boss is letting me rent. And it's pretty cool because my backyard is millions of dollars of machinery. So pretty cool stuff. Um, anyways, let's go inside, finish what I'm doing, and then we gotta get back to the work week, so. Today is Tuesday. I'm actually on my way home from my lunch break. I just finished doing a video for work. Gotta get back and upload that to the web. But uh, yesterday I ended up selling a bunch of my bath pieces that I found. I had a bag full of like 20 pieces and I ended up selling them. Made like 150 bucks online, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I gotta get home, package them up, and then get them out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, got some packaging. I sold off Sentry and Rhino to one guy. Also sold Sasquatch Arm. I did sell Odin, All Father. Um, did sell that guy too. Spider, Kingpin, um, Mubaku. I was always I was trying to finish this guy, but I never got around to getting the rest. So I'm okay with selling that off. Same with the Spider. Um, I'm probably not going to find the rest of the wave, so I'm okay with selling that off. Somebody was interested in those, but didn't pick them up. And then another guy picked this up. So, this is what I got left, if anybody's interested. Uh, this looks like the right leg. This is a right leg for the golden piece of shit. Uh, tig the tiger guy from space, from the Nova wave. Abomination arm, um, swamp swamp guy, swamp arm, man thing, uh, Power Ranger arm, Thanos head and arm. And I actually have some more too that I'm going to be posting as soon as I can. But I got to get these guys shipped. So I did also get in my McFarlane Kickstarter spawn set. There's the two colored versions right there. And I was actually trying to sell off my artist proof versions. But I ended up trading it, and the trade I'm getting is really good. It's going to be the Supreme Knight Batman and the Storm Collectibles Skull Knights. So that's pretty cool. I gotta get this shipped out today too. Finally got my Zartan in after like two weeks of shipping. Uh, got two of them, opened up one, got another one to put on my wall. Pretty cool figure. I actually thought you know, when I was a kid watching the, the show, I thought his hood was actually his hair. <laughs> so, that's new to me. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty happy I got him. And then here's the uh, Firefly I got a couple weeks ago. Uh, overpaid a little bit for that, but that's okay. Hey, I also forgot to mention I picked up this MF Doom flag. Um, it was on sale on Amazon. Again, I'm... I'm I like to save money, <laughs> um, but it went on sale for 12 bucks and it actually took two months to ship out. So that was honestly kind of cool because it didn't take the money out, it took two months. But yeah, it's a really nice flag. I really like the colors. It's got that drip on it. It says MF Doom right there. I like MF Doom a lot. I also like the name Doom because it's almost like Odom, Doom, switch around the letters. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is a really cool flag. Cool. We have a drop-off area at my work. So. Uh, 
All right, guys, so these actually came in last week. Um, I was gonna do a video on them in my last video, but I never got around to it. I just, I just honestly didn't want that video to be an hour long. But um, yeah, I picked these up through Bluefin. It was called the Puny God set. But anyways, yeah, it was on sale. Normally these, this figure's a hundred bucks and that figure's a hundred bucks. And these are normally like 30 to 25 bucks. Um, they had the set on sale for a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for the Puny God set. And I was like, all right. So you picked up these two and then they threw in a free gift. And these rock effects look really cool. Really excited to open those. So I just kind of want to open them up and mess around with them a little bit. And maybe I'll talk about them a little bit tomorrow. Wednesday. It's a really crummy day. It's super rainy. Um, I gotta take Jackson to school right now and get back to work. Um, but I also gotta ship out all those back pieces. So that's what today's gonna be about. I'm also at work all day. So ready for school? Let's go. I gotta do your hair. Bye. I'll see you. Yeah. So I just got a call from Jackson's teacher. He was playing outside and fell in the mud. So I had to run home, grab some clothes for him, and now I gotta go drop it off at the school, get him changed and cleaned up. Fun. Damn, well I totally lost money in shipping. I guess shipping costs are going up and I totally undersold some of those bath pieces. I think like the average shipping was about five bucks. But it looks like I got something here for me. All right. And it's all soaking wet. All right, I know what this is, but you guys don't. Um, so I got another King Thanos. Um, such a cool looking figure. Um, I actually have another one right here. I ordered a second one so I could open it. I really want to have one in box. So that one's going to stay box. This one's going to open because I can feel it's kind of damp up top right here. So it did get a little water damage. You hear that Amazon? You water damaged my box. Cool figure. So I'm on my lunch break right now. I got to get back to work. After work, I'll pop this guy open, do a real quick review. I gotta go over that way, but I don't know what this truck driver is doing over here. He is not supposed to be over in that area. So he's gonna have to turn like four or five times. Well, this is the reason why I'm important here. These are our stock numbers and we are trying to make them in-house now. So we went ahead and bought a printer. So now I can do it in-house. But the issue we have is the borders don't fill up the entire sticker and I need to move some things around. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that right now. Check that out, I left the, uh, the uh, sheet. So I'm really glad I figured this thing out. Um, I've been putting it off for a little while just because I keep having other projects to work on. I got the design down, I got everything looking good. The issue is now that the paper, the uh, print keeps coming out with it and it messes up the numbers, it just looks sloppy. So I need to get in contact with the, uh, the printer people and see what's going on, how to fix that. Because you don't really want bleeds. That's what's going on. I'm getting bleeds in the number. But they're coming out pretty good. I like it. All right guys, I'm just now getting home from work. It is Wednesday 
and I actually requested Thursday Friday off. So today's my Friday and I'm gonna go ahead and open up this Thanos figure and then I'm gonna get this video posted tomorrow Thursday. And then Thursday I am chilling all day, I ain't doing nothing. I actually need to watch the, uh, the Zack Snyder Justice League movie, so that's probably what I'm going to do on Thursday, but for now, let's go ahead and open up that Thanos. Alright, I think this is a really cool figure. Um, I do have a gripe immediately out of the, out of the packaging. I had no idea that it was going to be a single jointed elbow. Um, so he really can't move his arms a whole lot other than that swivel. I mean, you get the swivel in the arm, but it's still a single joint. You get it up there. But, I mean, that's kind of weak. And then they could have given us butterfly joints, like the Hulk figure. That would have been a plus on here. And then the feet are good because they're so square and round. But uh, I, it took me a little while to get his feet to stand flush. By the way, this is a really cool piece. I think they did a really good job with the shadowing. I don't think it's coming up too well on this GoPro. Um, it's kind of dark in here. I only have one light going on right now, so it's not. It's kind of noisy and it's not easy for the colors to come out. But it's a little lighter on his chest and then darker on his abs. Um, Paint-wise, they did a great job on this figure. I just feel like they kind of went cheap on a couple things. Like they could have given us more detail in the gloves and everything like that. They could have given us a fist with the with the colors which you could probably go and just color that yourself but yeah you know just small things like that i think this is really cool the fact that they gave us a backdrop for thanos that's that's a really cool added feature that they've done so reading the back of the box thanos the mad titan seizes control of the hollowed infinity gauntlet and wields near omnipotent power who can stop the vicious new overlord so let's go ahead and pop this head off and see what the, the new head looks like. Alright, and there's the King Thanos head. I think it looks really cool. I uh, I have a beard myself, so I think this character just looks pretty damn cool with the beard and the crown. That crown is really cool as well. Kind of looks like Sauron or something. And he is evil, so I mean it is an accurate look for him. Um, yeah, I really dig that head sculpt. <laughs> but anyways guys thanks for watching um i gotta get the kids baths they still got school tomorrow i got thursday off i'm gonna chill all day um if you guys haven't already please do subscribe it really does help my channel out it really does help me grow as a videographer photographer all that stuff um, so I really appreciate all the subscriptions, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I do need to do a shot for Infinity Equations Fantasy Battle, so that's something I'm going to be working on for this four day weekend that I have. And I'm just really looking forward to relaxing. So tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and watch the Justice League movie, and then maybe after it I'll do a little um, uh, my thoughts on the movie and how Zack Snyder compared to Whedon's version, I'll go ahead and discuss all that stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. I'm going to try to do these reviews weekly now. Um, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.